Five panellists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just decolonize you. The measure of how serious a matter is can usually be linked to the price tag it attracts. That Economic Advisory Council. The global economy is in trouble. Our part of the world woke up a few days ago to hear the news that oil price slumped 30% in early trading in Asia, testing the $30 per barrel mark. There were fears it may even go lower. Fortunately, it didn't, as it closed at about $34. For Nigeria, that $34 is already a disaster when stacked beside our crude benchmark of $57. At $34, 40% of the income we expected from oil this year is wiped off. It could get worse, as there's a glut already in the market such that even at the rock bottom price, we may still not find buyers. Remember, there was already a deficit in the budget, which we will be borrowing to cover. That gap has just widened. As if that was not enough, because oil represents about 90% of our foreign exchange earnings, the crash in oil prices have implication for our foreign reserves and by extension, our exchange rate. Like they say, when it rains, it pours. Capital is projected to move from oil-exposed currencies and economies to safety, thus further putting pressure on the exchange rate. He that is down needs fear no fall. There are currently critical infrastructure works being handled by Chinese nationals in Nigeria. A lot of them travel to China for the new year and have been locked down in China due to the raging coronavirus. Even if they want to come back now, I'm not sure we are ready to receive them. Manufacturers have ordered raw materials and spare, and all these are tied down in China, which means production will be negatively hit as factories stock out unnecessary raw materials and spares. The same goes for general commerce, because China is a major source of the product offered in our various markets. Nigeria is also not shielded from the economic woes of the aviation industry. We are linked to the problem in the global tourism industry, or the fallout of major lockdown across the world, including the entire country of Italy. While the impact of the global economic woes on the oil price is easy to see, what about the impact on the fairly more complex non-oil sector? Have we analyzed the effect of the expected result of the implementation of the finance bill? I'm sure the new boss at FIRS is worried already about how he will meet his revenue target. Wait a minute, is this not also the right time to remove full subsidy? The times are trying and the decisions complex. But the beauty of it is that we have a team of wise men constituted into the Economic Advisory Committee. They are what we need. And I hereby advocate that this is the time to deploy them into what they know to do best. We can ride this storm with minimal bumps. And the time to get into it is now. I don't think that um we are quite um, ready um, <laughs> to even understand the complexities. Oh, wow. Um, no, I mean, you can, you can tell this by just listening to the, 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 some of the pronouncements and narratives that are coming from the people in, 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 in charge of the economy. Um, I, I do agree that there are 
very many wise men and women in the advisory. But okay. since there were, you know, one of the beautiful things about policy, um, smart policy, is that you can, you can sort of anticipate what's going to happen. Um, there was no sense of anticipation okay. within the, you know, I don't even think over the last two, three months, mm -hmm. right. you know, even in some of the conversations around uh, what are we going to do? Uh, what's the economic impact of the finance bill? Yeah. You don't, you, there was no discussion around it. It's like we have power, so we're going to do this. We have the National Assembly that can, you know, rubber stamp our decisions, right. so we've done it. But what is the critical thinking? What's the impact analysis? Yeah. Wait, do you hear, what the, I mean, okay, let's not, I know that every time we say this, so oh, okay, fine, um, we're bringing an example of people in, in the UK or in America or in China, but you see there are conversations, conversations. That, we're, that, 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 yeah. that we're not having. Yeah. Yesterday, um, I listened, tuned in to, listen to the, the meeting that the CBN organized. The uh, uh, yeah, yes. And for we're me, going to get to that, yes. <laughs> that's not, yes. that's actually, Jamboree. That's just, <laughs> I, there's things I can say. Why is it there. a Jamboree? <laughs> Why do you say it's a Jamboree? Um, oh. Even look at the, the body language of the people, right. the photographs, and the, yes. it, it didn't well, it business doesn't appear as that these people really understand, understand I, yeah. what's going on. Yes, True. I absolutely agree with you. You should have seen MFLS uh, um, com comportment. He said that, we are, that he, in fact, he said there's no problem. Okay. How can oh, he uh, say that? He's the governor of Central Bank. <laughs> We're looking at these prices. We're staring at them in the do you know face. What dollar, do you know what the dollar has just gone between <laughs> yesterday and today? It's about 380. Mm. Go, climbing to 390. Mm. In the black market? Yes. yes yeah, to buy dollar. Black market, yes. I, I guess it's that critical thing and, keep and, coming and back I can to tell you it. here that it's yeah. going to go, it's it's going going to go, go all the way. Wanted, no. I just want to take on some of what you said. I, I think, and just re-emphasize what you're saying, is the critical thinking, but not because he pointed out that we have some very wise men and women. So you sort of have to ask, the people that appointed these wise men and women, what was in their mind? Yeah. Why did you put them there? Are they figureheads? Because my problem is not that, I mean, it's a problem, but it's not a problem for today in a sense that we've already accepted that you want to chop but at least have the, the sense to delegate the work to those who are going to, you know, do, as in nurture the cow that will, or the chicken that will lay the golden egg. Really because golden egg, yes. why should yes. you be sitting, and that, that for me is the craziness of where we are, is that you're in a, a difficult situation, and when you use you know, expressions not, like the time to okay, solve it is now. We're not talking about cutting costs of governance. We're not talking about removing, that's the first thing, okay, we're going to deal with subsidy. Yeah. We talked about, well, let's, let's remove subsidy. Yes, right. Cost Let's of governance. This, like, cost of governance. It's already a heavy news around NMPC that, neck. I was listening to the MD of the NMPC talking about, uh, uh, we should prepare for hard times, yes. that 80 cargoes could not find buyers. Yes. 80 cargoes of oil, of oil could yes. not find buyers. 90% of our foreign exchange Meanwhile, is listen driven. to this. Just a month ago, less than a month ago, they employed 2,000 fresh staff to NMPC. Right, right, right. To do what? Thank you. Yeah. So that's, that's what I'm saying, anticipating. Oh, right, right. You, 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 and you employing new people to fill... So you have government agencies that are employing thousands of people. So we take it that they don't I, want I, I to do the right so thing. So cost of governance, you're not reducing it. And then you're talking about... Refuse to attend, the no, go decline to attend the government. They, they, they feel it's just... Because that is what... It's, it's, it's more or less like um, somebody trying to use them to um, validate yes. some things that might not necessarily be part of their, their own agenda. Most of the issues that were meant to be discussed at that event they have already provided professional advice via the right quarters on it. So if, if they have come to attend something like that and you put them on the spot, they might even be clashing with some of the political opinions in that space. That undermines their own So my question people. is, what do you do yeah. with people who don't want to do the right thing? Because that's where we're at now. We keep and because I see, I, see, I, see the I see what happens when you're in an organization where you, you have a, mix, a mixed multitude and you have some people who want to work and you have some people who are just there. You know, if you don't um, unbundle those ones, they're going to affect the morale yeah, of everyone the, the else. So, so, so how do we now get this ship to work? Because we have we, the men, we have the women, we have the intelligence, but it's not being utilized because some people... We keep shouting people, about it. We keep shouting you, see, about it. You, you see, at the end of the day, um, political will trumps anything. Right. You know, it's, a, it's acceptance at the highest level of, of mm -hmm. governance mm -hmm. to say, you know, um, I think this changes. We're going to do this changes. We're going to accept this advice, and and you will see it flow down the line. I don't think that um, we're in that environment yet. 
maybe when, when we haven't suffered it no 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 maybe when uh, it hits us that's not the right because word. <laughs> and maybe you know <laughs> the problem with the time the is now and yeah the problem with it. our brand of governance is that people in power and, and governance i mean i used to have that we 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 just isolated from the realities the of consequences where we're, there's this isolation this is bubble that we are we're in you know so if my car is fueled if the price goes up i just get more money for my office to protect, to insulate protect myself, yeah. Yeah. Okay. you know. Um, so if the cost of air travel goes up, I just get, get more, more money. money. Yeah. So there's yeah. this insulation um, that we have, and we just pretend, okay, fine, you know, we're not feeling the pulse. Mm. And, and I think that it goes back to people, the common man, all of us in society beginning to raise our voices. Yes. That look, Make storm is coming. Yeah. So this thing about classic. riding, we're not ready. Exactly. To ride yeah. the storm. Oh, we're not ready. We're not. We're ready. But the people, the team that will help us ride the storm I'm is there. right there. That is my <laughs> With worry. intelligence to do it. With intelligence. So, so we're not even saying that we do can't it. still at, get out of trouble. Look at the South African, look at the South African economy went into recession. Mm. You saw the steps that the, the yeah, government the, 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 the yeah. government took immediately. Yeah. The, 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 the finance minister, the governor of the, the central bank, the president the himself, you could see, yeah. Yeah. You could do, see the do steps. We, do we not want to wait till we go into a recession? You see the steps they're taking. We've been, we been, been into a recession before and come out, and and we're come out. out of it. And we haven't learned but anything we're from about that experience. Step into yes. it and again. We're, we're glorifying so. 2 point something, 2.2% growth. Yes, yes, I was thinking. Yeah. 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 Your, your yeah. population is growing at 6 7%. Your economy is growing at 2 And you're saying, yeah, we're... There's some positive news. You could tell we're not ready. So we keep making noise. Well. <laughs> a crucial aspect of our advocacy is to ignite timely interventions. As the saying goes, a stitch in time saves nine. We continue to raise the alarm as you team up with us. Do keep your comments coming in on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocates NG. To catch up with previous broadcasts, go to plustvafrica.com slash theadvocate. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Remember to join The Advocate again next week, same time, as we press on towards a better society. Till then, it's bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking. It's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually worked. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. What, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese. If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.